Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. Zookeeper Chris here, and today we are going to be checking out something that I've been working on stream for far too long and I have not finished yet, but I figured it's time to start uploading it to YouTube, and that is our Disney-inspired boat ride. Now, what you see on screen right now is the actual boat ride at Disney. It is at Epcot in Disney World uh, in Orlando, Florida and it's a pretty cool boat ride it's actually one of like my favorite just chill boat rides at the park um it's really relaxing and you can almost fall asleep on it and anywho i wanted to try and recreate something inspired by this in planet zoo so we're gonna get into the beginnings of that today on stream or hello not on stream i already did it on stream we're going to get into that here on uh the channel today it's going to be a speed build as you can see i'm moving at 5,000 miles an hour on the screen in front of you so uh, if you want to check these builds out i do build this live on stream where we are every tuesday and wednesday morning at 9 a.m est over at twitch.tv slash zookeeper chris i'll have the link in the description down below uh you know always feel free to come by and join us whenever we're working on these um usually we're we're always playing planet zoo but if there's a community challenge week we'll be working on that if it's not a community challenge week i'm more than likely working on this guy uh but this is the very beginnings we've kind of gone further than this so far so feel free to drop by one of the twitch streams when we're live and see where we're at on that day but anywho today <laughs> i'm showing you guys the very first area of the ride that we are working on and this is actually me a two-part video because in this video i didn't want it to be crazy long uh i usually try and keep my youtube videos shorter than 20 minutes i really don't like super long ones let me know in the comment section down below what you guys like um, but personally i don't like watching super long videos i guess you could always pause it and come back but i don't know let me know what you guys think anywho so yeah, today we're going to be getting into the first section here, which is a rainforest jungly themed area. And at the ride at Disney, they do not have live saltwater crocodiles in here. It's actually animatronics, but I figured, you know what? We're playing Planet Zoo. I have the ability to do it. So let's put in some saltwater crocodiles. So right now I'm just kind of getting a feel for how much space I have in the area that I created. And I wanted to see, you know, how much space the crocs need. Uh, actually, right here, I'm trying to see if I can have the boat go through doors. And I don't really have a ton of experience working with boat rides. It's actually one of my least favorite rides to build because it seems to be so complicated for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has problems, but then somebody in stream actually told me I don't need that thing and I can just put a little barrier so the crocodiles can't get through like they can't get out of the the um, building there and I was told I could actually use some plants so I totally did that and it looks amazing and it's actually functional and it works and you'll see me test it out here in a minute uh, originally I was just gonna you know try the track thing and then I was like you know what let me put some rocks in and stop them from swimming over and then somebody told me about the plant trick and it, it totally works and I'm glad somebody told me about this. So, anywho, uh, yeah, so this is us getting started with the saltwater croc area. I don't plan on or think this is gonna, you know, this is definitely not gonna be a one-to-one -one creation of the Disney ride. Um, it's meant just to be inspired by it. Obviously, like I said, they don't have live saltwater crocodiles and in my build, they will. Um, I do plan on putting this up on the Steam Workshop at the end, but you might be waiting for half a year. <laughs> I don't really know. It's, it's been taking me so long. I've never built something so serious and so big in Planet Zoo before, so it's quite daunting and pretty intense. Um, and this is it's going to be really cool to look back at this video and see where it started because it so far it's been going so well like way better than anything i ever thought i could make in planet zoo and i'm just excited to see where we go from where we're at right now like this right here that you're looking at just looks like such a plain you know black box and we really take it to a whole nother level throughout this video and the next video that i'll be coming out with hopefully by next week um really trying to get into the habit of posting a youtube video once every week but that really 
has not happened yet and I apologize I'm I'm working on it but unfortunately life has been getting in my way if you don't know already I am a real zookeeper in real life so five days out of the week I'm working at the real zoo the other two days that I'm not working I'm playing playing zoo hanging out chatting with everybody and then in between all that I've obviously got a, a family to care for I got my two pups that you see in the bottom right that we care for and uh, I try and squeeze in some YouTube video editing as well which is very time consuming for me but hey the more you do it the quicker it'll get so anywho that's kind of what's been going on and I, again I do hope to put more videos out there in the future some of you guys have been super awesome and you know leaving awesome comments and tagging me on social media and let me know that you guys have been enjoying the videos so I really am trying to push some more out here and hopefully this will be the start of it especially since I have worked on this build here a good bit and I just need to commentate on it so yeah I'm just gonna hang out with you guys today and just keep commentating on what's going on in the build and what my logic was with different things that I did and ways that I planned it um, I do put a rooftop over this section so our saltwater crocodiles which are reptiles have no sunlight which I, I yeah I get it that's not cool and that's not what it would be like in a real zoo um, sometimes I do, you know, I, I, I do put realism a little bit on the back burner and, and real realistically, what I would like to think is that if somebody did have real crocs in this display, um, they could let them shift outdoors for some outside time every now and then, or you could have basking lamps, which are obviously not as good as real sunlight, but the basking lamps would suffice, I would think. And I'm not sure if there are any zoos out there that have saltwater crocs. I mean, there's got to be some zoos out there in the world that have saltwater crocs and in completely indoor displays and they don't see sun, which sounds terrible when you say it, but um, because I'm sure the, the sunlight is, you know, the best thing for them. I guess, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I, I do get that this breaks the realism that I usually aim for a little bit, but when you see the end product, I think it, it just looks really amazing and it's uh it's a really fun build and hopefully when when i get this uploaded to the steam workshop uh i it's gonna be up to whoever downloads it to if they want to put crocs in this or not they don't have to because one thing that is gonna happen is the crocs will get in the water and stop the boat ride every now and then which is probably gonna get annoying so it's totally up to people if they want to make it into a usable habitat or not or i guess it's already usable i guess it's up to people if they want to use it or not uh, anywho this is me starting work on one of our two waterfalls in this habitat here and this is going to be the biggest one that we have uh, it's just a ton of rock work trying out different shapes putting them in different ways flipping them around uh, and I tried to make this look natural like oh this is Luna one of my dogs who just really wanted some love and I guess midstream and <laughs> came up to say hi to everybody um, anywho yeah it's, it's a ton of using different rocks and some of the same rocks and whenever I use the same rock I try to flip it around and just make it look different um, using doing rock work I think can be really daunting for some people but i would just recommend just you know put a different good variety of rocks in there and just spin them around a bunch of different ways and try and make something that looks natural and you'll see at the start mine looks really funky but at the end i think we do have a really good piece and we'll get to that here in a minute but it did take quite a bit of time uh this video here is sped up i don't know a thousand percent i think so it's sped up quite a bit and I feel like I took a solid, maybe, I don't know, two or three hours, maybe one to three hours. I don't know. I, building rocks can take a lot of time, placing rocks, especially all of these rocks, um, getting them in and placing them all around. And also as I'm placing these, I'm trying to think of how I want the water to flow and fall down from the waterfall. So I, I always keep that in mind as well. I, you know, plan on having the waterfall start from up top, obviously. And I, I try to think about like where, if I had a real waterfall in this display, where would the pipes go to transport the water up to the top of the waterfall? And, and how would the water flow? 
And also uh, those little things I just put in there on the sides you'll see are like little ledges to put some plants on. There we go. I'm starting to place some plants because I do like adding some greenery to the waterfalls. I think it makes it look a little more natural, a little more tropical. You know, if you're going through a tropical area in the jungle and there's a waterfall there, you're going to see some different plants growing along the edge. And I don't know, these these plants here that I put in particular may or may not grow in this type of environment, but I do think they are the best suited for placing on rocks in this game, uh, at least doing it easily. I'm, Sure, there's a lot of really cool plants that work well here but these are these are some of my go-to plants as far as ones that i will put up on the rock work uh so and i, I don't go i don't go too crazy with them either it's more like a little accent piece because the the focus of the corner there is the waterfall obviously the plants are just meant to break up all of the the stone in the corner and just give you a little something on the side there to see and i think later on down the road we even add a couple of butterflies which look amazing and that was a lot of fun you will probably see that in the next video all of the butterflies that we place in here it's it's pretty fun and everyone that was in stream that day got to name a butterfly and pick their colors and i that was such a cool idea and i'm so glad we did that so stay tuned for next next week's episode where we'll check out those butterflies and uh, I think in here we've already we already put the crocs in here and we made sure that they can't escape from this one zone, this one area. Um, so now we're just getting the water in and I'm starting to play with the waterfall effects and just trying to get a feel for how they're going to look. I don't make too many waterfalls in my zoos or my builds too often, but uh, whenever I was putting them here, I usually you know, place them off to the side first on solid ground just so I can see how they flow. Like you can see right there I'm doing uh, just so I can see how they're they're flowing in from which direction. And then I can put them up into the rock work and, you know, kind of put them where I think they'll fit best. So just starting with the uh, I think these are like the I don't even know what this exact one is called, but starting with these ones here that I think it's this is the waterfall top pieces. And then I go to the waterfall middle and then I end with the waterfall bottom. So we go top down with the waterfall pieces here. Make sure to save often when you're doing things like this. Like I said, I spent like two to three hours on this stone thing. And luckily spring blossom and chat always tells me to save when I'm doing stuff like that because my game sometimes will crash. And I, I feel like when you're not doing franchise mode, your game is less likely to auto save as much so try to i try to save manually uh, whenever i remember or if somebody in chat tells me to to save thankfully thankfully we have people in chat that remind me to save so uh would save hard heartache in the future so anywho getting a feel more with this waterfall getting the water flow and starting to look like a real waterfall now um got them all placed on each side and we're kind of trying to feel for how it's going to look when it hits the river at the bottom. Uh, I think I'm placing some random rocks in the middle too because I wanted, yeah, I wanted to put some plants in the middle as well, which ended up looking really nice. So I was, I was pretty proud of this in the end. One other thing that kind of stinks when I'm doing waterfalls like this is that the effects will sometimes have seepage on the <laughs> back side. Uh, this one wasn't too bad, but that's always frustrating and I don't know if you might see it in this video here, but I, I do some different things to hide. Like, for example, all these rocks that I'm placing along the wall here, some of them do poke through the other side. And usually what I'll do is I'll either pull them back onto this side here that we're looking at. And as long as they still look good in the build, uh, otherwise, if they have to stay where they are, what I do is I'll just build another layer of wall on the back side of this wall, or I'll put something on the other side of this wall that will hide the rocks. So I, I always, you know, prioritize the look of the main piece, the one that we're looking at here first, and then I'll, I'll focus on hiding, hiding whatever's poking out the back. Okay, showing more love to the pups. My pups are pretty much on stream with us pretty much every week, I would say, Lucy and Luna. Um, 
Lucy's the Husky German Shepherd mix down there in the bottom right that you see in the camera. She's pretty adorable and always sleepy and hanging out. And sometimes she'll put her face right next to the camera and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And Luna is all over the place. She's not even in her bed right now in this shot here. Luna will sometimes lay in her bed, sometimes just be hanging out behind me, sometimes chewing a bone, sometimes staring at me, wanting to say hi to people on stream. So anywho, that's my random tangent about my my dogs and I'm sure we'll chat more about them later. But they are both rescues and actually fun story. Luna was rescued from the zoo that I work at. But anywho, that's pretty much going to do it for the video here. We got both of the waterfalls done. Um, stay tuned for next week's episode where we continue the build here and finish up the saltwater croc area of our Disney inspired boat ride. If you guys made it this far, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more future Planet Zoo content here. I appreciate you all for watching. Until next time, stay wild.